Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are learning how to install stamped metal products like metal shingles. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals. Welcome back to our stamped metal roofing series. Today we got a great topic, learning how to install a metal shingle type product. And I've got Mark from Isaiah Industries, Technical Support Director. Mark, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, good to be with you. This is our, our rustic panel. It's an aluminum panel made out of 019 uh, aluminum. Just a good product with a, that should last a lifetime on your roof. Matter of fact, this is the product I put on my own home. It's a two foot wide exposure. Uh, one foot high. You'll see that it, you know, it has two side locks. One's obviously underturned. One's upturned. Uh, you can see it has a, a continuous uh, fold underneath to hook into the, the shingle below it. It's going to inter interlock as such. <clears throat> and then on the sides, like that. So what's the uh, slope? minimum slope that these products can go over? Sure, this, this product can be installed all the way down to 312 on a 312 pitch. Okay. If, if you get to the point where um, the roof is no longer walkable, one um, option that we do offer that uh, very much enhances the walkability for the installers and for anyone who might get up to service something on the roof at a, a, at a later time, our foam backers, uh, these are injection, injection molded and uh, conform to the back of the panel. And one thing I, I like to do when I teach installation courses here is I'll, I'll just put this down on the cement floor and I, I can dance on this and I can dance on it all day long and uh, nothing happens to the shingle. So um, those are really a benefit for the installers. So tell me about uh, when you're looking to start installation as the roof, uh, do you have these flashing started on the roof before panels begin uh, being laid? Yeah, so there, there's a definite sequence. Um, obviously, you're going to put your underlayment down first. One thing that we really like to uh, emphasize is that the, the underlayment is going to be wrapped over all perimeter edges of the roof, uh, at least one inch. Now obviously you don't want it to come down too far so that it doesn't hang out the, the starter, but we do want it, it to come over the edge and not be cut off at the edge. Then next we're going to put down our, our starter strip, okay. uh, which you know has a cleat and a, and a drip leg. Then I'm going to progress to, to putting down my gable channel. This protect, particular gable channel is what we call a full over gable channel. And what you're going to do with the shingle is you're going to probably take a pair of flangers like these and you're going to, to open up this side lock so that it's, it's flat. <clears throat> and then you're going to measure in two and a half inches and two and a half inches here too and then come back an inch and a half. So you're going to get a, a taper here going to do a 90 degree bend. That bend obviously is perpendicular to the, the butt of the shingle. That is going to fit down into this channel here in, in the gable channel. This is a, a very nice look. I, I love the look of being able to stand back on the ground and seeing the profile of the shingle as it goes up the gable to the peak. I think it's a very uh, attractive uh, feature of the product. This gable trim and, and starter here is attached with roofing nails? Yes, yes. Uh, aluminum ring shank nails or you could use stainless steel fasteners okay. uh, every foot along the eave. Okay. Um, I see small clips here. Yes, and, and <clears throat> most of our uh, trim pieces are going to be attached with, with clips and uh, those will be every one foot on center. All of our all of our products have a stagger pattern to them. Uh, the first shingle here, you can see that that the shingle is is 24 inches wide from the the side lock here. 
When I open up that uh, flange, I'm going to get, gain about an extra inch. The stagger pattern for rustic is full, half, three quarter, one quarter, repeat. So it's a four course repeat. One of the things I like to tell the, the fellows who come in here for uh, installation training is that you can have a guy on the ground who has all of your starter pieces uh, bent and ready to go uh, before you ever get up on the roof. Uh, if you know that this is a, a 20 foot gable and you've got a four course repeat, he can simply make five sets of the, the stagger pattern. The, the first shingle, which is going to be considered a, a full shingle, is going to come over 22 and a half. Then I'm going to go to my half shingle, which is 12 inches less, which will be 10 and a half. Three quarters is going to be 16 and a half. And then the last shingle is going to be four and a half, which is one quarter. Uh, notice that that falls very nicely in that I don't have to contend with any of my, my rain gutters. Right. So like the 16 and a half, I have to add two and a half inches for this fold over, but it falls right between the two gutters, which is very, very convenient. So then I'm going to, going to take this and I'm just going to come in here to where the flange is on the water return channel. I'll cut that up at a, at a little angle there. And then I'm going to fold this under. I used to cut it, but now I fold it under. I think it just makes for a more finished edge there. You're going to see that this then goes down into the channel and this gets up like that. This would represent my, my second course. My, my third course is going to be approximately like this. And then the final course, the fourth course, will be like this, and then the whole pattern is going to repeat. Yep. So you wrote the manual for these products, is that correct? That's correct. So yeah. tell me a little bit about it, and tell me a little bit about your training. Sure. Um, our installation training usually is for a full day. Um, we offer it here at our, our training facility. Um, there's no cost to those who, who want to come other than having to uh, cover their own transportation and lodging. Um, but we usually spend a whole day from 8.30 8 in the morning till almost 5 in the afternoon and cover all the details on this training deck, which is, uh, you know, pretty much has every feature that you're normally going to run into sure. on, a, on a job. <laughs> Along with doing the training, we, we give a installation um, instruction guide. Uh, as Thad mentioned, I, I put this together uh, just a couple of years ago. It's 88 pages long. It has uh, color photos with nice arrows and text and all of that, that kind of thing. And in addition, you have over three hours of video content that covers this as well. Is that correct? That's correct. It's going to be a different product than this. It's going to be our Castlewood um, steel shingle. And we have, as uh, Thad mentioned, three hours of, of video broken down into 25 segments. So not too long, usually about five, six minutes long. Um, so if you have a particular question about, OK, how do I uh, do the apron flashing on the chimney, uh, you can go to those videos and have a five minute segment that will show you how to do that as I actually walk through the steps. <clears throat> Mark, thank you so much for taking me through the process today. I really learned a lot about how to install metal shingles and metal type products. So thank you very much, really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely, it was a, it was a pleasure. I, I enjoy showing uh, our products. Yeah, and absolutely, and if you, if you wanna uh, see Mark talk more about their products, like you said, the Castlewood demonstration over three hours of video content, 
uh, put together all the manuals for these products. So really a lot of knowledge and information there. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.